Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm DJ Kell and the Antidote, your tutorial guy. Yeah, so guys, uh, I'm back with the tutorial on Sony Acid. On this tutorial, I'm going to show you on how to add sound effects. That is the uh, wawa, the slow flame, the reverb. Uh, these are very important when you're going to make a mixtape. They space up your transitions. Yeah, so guys, first you need to have a Sony Acid installed in your computer. If you don't have the Sony Acid, you need to download it. You can download it uh, from the Sony Acid website. Or you can uh, opt to have a cracked version of it. Which you can get it from my Telegram channel. That is uh, all the young softwares. As you can see on your screen, this is my Telegram channel. Where you can find the software. So to access it, go to the description, click on the first link that is named Telegram channel, click on it. It's going to take you direct to this channel. As you can see, the Sony Acid Pro 6 crack with Kijen, Sony Acid Pro 7 crack with Kijen. So if you are first timer, kindly use Sony Acid Pro 6. It's very simple for you to install and also to use. Then when you progress in your career, you can install Sony Acid Pro 7. There's also Music Studio 10, which is for pros. Kindly don't install it first if you have not used Pro 6 because it can be a bit confusing. So make sure you download it. Then after that, you can you can proceed to know the basic stuff. If you want to know the introduction part of Sony Acid, kindly check our tutorial on the channel. There'll be, be a link in the tag, I mean the description for the introduction part. For this tutorial, I'm going just to show you on how to add the effects so that you can be able to space up your your music. As you all know, Sony Acid is for music production, but as DJs, because you are creative people, we use it, use it to make uh, audio mixtapes. And note, uh, there's a difference between Sony Acid and Sony Vegas. Sony, Ve Sony Acid is for making audio mixtapes, and Sony Vegas is for making video mixtapes. Just note that. So just go to the description, join the channel, and just download the, the softwares for free. Install them and enjoy. Let's keep supporting each other. Click the subscribe button. So let's go straight to the tutorial. So let me just open my Sony Acid Pro 6. Yeah, let me close this one. You can see it is telling me to, up to upgrade because there is a new version which I will share in the, the channel. Just click on the channel. I have already uploaded the Sony Acid Pro 10 for free. Let me close this one. So the first time you open Sony Acid, this is the interface you are going to get. This is a tutorial on the introduction part on how to go about it. So I'm not going to address it that at the moment. So let me load a song. Mm. For this tutorial, I'm going to use this uh, this song by Arrow Boy. And let me just go pretty quick and search Arrow Boy. Yeah. At the moment, let me just also open the uh, Virtual DJ. It will help me on uh, analyzing the BPM. That's the bits per minute. Yeah, and guys who are already in my Telegram channel, they know that I'm going to give away some softwares, free password. So keep watching the video. You're going to get uh, the password for the zipped file in my Telegram channel. Keep watching the video. I'm going to post the the, the password for the for the software in the Telegram channel. That is the virtual DJ eight, virtual DJ seven, uh, Sony Vegas Pro thirteen, and Serato. We are going to post the the password for all those uh, softwares in this in this video. So keep watching it. I promise, and I promise that, that I'm going to share the video in this tutorial. So keep watching. So as you, can, as you can see, I've just opened my virtual DJ. I don't know why my this one is not searching. Call me Arrow Boy. Yeah, I want to open. Which one do I use? Can I use this one. Arrow Boy, the Debrio Arrow Boy. Mm -hmm. Let me just choose. I want to use an extended song. Which one do I use? Which one do I use? Uh -huh. 
let me just use this one so you d just drag it and drop it so my computer is a bit slow so kindly bear with me yeah as you can see i've just loaded the song double click on this point to stabilize the volume at 0.0, .0 decibels these are things you need to learn uh, slowly so if you don't know what i'm doing kindly make sure you watch the introduction part so to set the bpm of this song let me just also load the song on the on virtual dj yeah virtual dj this one yeah I want to load it here. Let me just minimize this one. So you can see the BPM is at uh, 103. So you come back to my Sony Acid. Let click on it. Click properties. Which is down here. Come. As you can see, it is one shot. Click on it. Bit mapped. Then I come in, click on stretch, and add one O three. Hope it, it it didn't have some uh, decimals. It is yeah, it is just one O three. Let me go back to it. Also come to this point and change to one O three. Very simple. If you don't know how to set a BPM, other bits per minute, go to the channel DJ Kelden, search on how to set a BPM. So I'm going to just use the intro introduction part to to demonstrate on how to add some effects in uh, in Sony Acid. Let me go set a cue point. If you don't know what is a cue point, is a point at which you set to start your song. Most of the time, it's usually the bass. But for a detailed uh, explanation on how to set the cue point, there's also a tutorial in the channel. Here you can you can learn more on it. Yeah, so just scroll through, and you're going to 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 learn on how to set a cue point if you want uh, a package of the tutorials from the start point to the end point on how to make a mixtape the basic stuff on sony acid in djing you can just go to the telegram channel you're going to find a a full pack of tutorials arrange the sequence at which you need to follow so that you can learn how to make a mixtape or you can also slide in my a uh, whatsapp i'm going to send you the links arrange properly on how to, to follow the steps on how to make a mixtape just feel free i'm ready to help you yeah as you know ions sharpens ions as you so at the time i was starting djing let me give you a small story yeah i had a challenge in getting the softwares getting someone to to assist me in uh, in djing so i found this guy his name is dj tell him i know Maybe he's not watching this tutorial. Did you tell him he's one who introduced me to Sony Acid? That was uh, several years ago. Well, I was in med school. So did you tell him introduced me to Sony Acid? He showed me, he orientated me on the software. That's why I'm very passionate in sharing the knowledge so that other guys don't go in a hassle about getting the knowledge about Sony Acid. I offer it for free. So did you tell him introduced me to this software? Should be step by step. That's why I'm very passionate passionate about sharing the knowledge so that other guys can also be aware of the software. So back to the tutorial. So the, uh, as you can see, I've already set the BPM, and now I'm going to just play a bit of the song so that you can hear which song I'm using. How to play it? Just press uh, press the space bar. As you can hear, that tune doesn't have a doesn't have a, an effect. Let me just cut that one. I'm just going to use this part for the demonstration. Let me just open other audio tracks like this ones. What you do? Just press Control Q. Control Q like that. As you can see, the volumes are at uh, uh, six, negative 6.0. I want it to be 0.0. .0. When you double click at the volume slider, it will be 0, 0.0. Like that. Something else you can do, just you can just click Ctrl A. So that you can, you can uh, set all of them at once. 
So you want to add the first one, the so first sound effects, come and click this point, the track effects, the green part, come to this point, the edit chain, uh, yeah, the, the, the already installed, uh, I mean the effects in your, in your Sony Acid, they are default ones, y they come installed, the first point you install the software, so click on the wawa the flange and wawa then add then click ok then come to the as you can see it has been added at, at this point click on the the preset these are the options you have you can just choose to use the uh, my, my best option is wawa 4 click on it yeah save it then go back you can also rename it Wow, for renaming it makes your work easier. Wow, for then you can uh, just paste uh, a part of this song to know if you have. Just use Control C and Control V. Just to paste. You can mute this part so that you can hear this part alone. Muting, you just press this point. Let's play and hear if there's a change. As you can hear there's a difference let me just play the this one so that you can notice the difference as you can hear there's a bit of a of a tune in this one yeah so that's how you add our four let me add another one down here again come to this track effects come to this point click on flange add it then press ok come to the down drop you are going to add slow flame then go back rename rename it to make your work easier slow slow flange yeah then do the same copy paste the, this tune control c control v if you don't know how to use the shortcut you can just right click on it just use the copy and paste it also works let me mute this spot point and listen to the this one as you can hear the, the difference let's add some more effects you are going to add uh, the reverb the same process come to this point just uh, locate the reverb this one here click on it add uh, let me remove one i've added two then click ok choose the reverb you want my favorite ones are the cathedral this one and the metal tank this one so let me just use the, use the metal tank then close it as usual rename my audio track reverb like that then cut a piece of it for the reverb you don't use it on the whole track just use, uh, use it on a part like a base then um, I just paste, paste it on a random part like that control V let me mute this one again and you can listen through to the, the reverb Very cool, eh? I like how it sounds like a metal. That's how you, how you add a reverb. You want to also add a low. If you are a live DJ, uh, like if you use a controller, a CDJ, a turntable, uh, in, your, in your mixer, there's a low where you turn the mid knob so that you can reduce the volume so that you can go to the song and transitioning. So also in Sony Acid you can do that. You can remove the bass and remove the low. So you just come to the effects again. Click on that part. You can see this acid effects. Click on it. Add. Okay. okay click on the equalizer. As you can see the treble, mid and bass. 
you want to make base at negative so drag it on your left side like that you can play along with this part and you can uh, you can uh, create your own effects so after doing that reducing the base just close it rename this part again renaming is very important to make your work easier low do the same thing as you, as you are doing control c for copying control v for pasting then you mute it but when you are making a mixtape you don't have to mute because there are specific points at which you need to to add the effects so if you want to know how to make a mixtape subscribe to the channel scroll through the tutorials and see how to make a mixtape on how to blend how to synchronize in sony acid and that's how you go you make a mixtape so let's listen through to the law play again yeah, as you can hear this as you can hear the bass is reduced So if you want to, there's a, a difference between the wow wow 4 and the low. Let's listen to the, the wow wow 4 to notice the difference. So both of them uh, usually reduce the bass. So you can, you can play along with the effects in your transitions to make it cool. Yeah. So if you have a new idea on how to do the same, you can always share the knowledge with us just comment the, uh, write, your co write your comment down below on the comment section let's keep happy, helping each other as you know ions sharp as iron so you are all ions so guys let me say again if you are new to the channel make sure you subscribe to this uh, youtube channel and click on the bell icon if you need the sony acid just go to the description, there is a link to the, my telegram channel so you can download this software for free yeah this is a, so this is a channel, auditing softwares so guys until next time keep you locked and be blessed so basically this is my youtube channel so see you next time